Hey, g'day guys, it's Steve here. Well, spring's come out, which is fantastic, and it's quite a nice day. <laughs> Too nice to be working inside, although, sorry to my clients, um, that I'm outside enjoying myself in my workshop. <laughs> anyway, it's good to see you all again, and probably, I guess it's probably good that you're seeing me again. <laughs> um, so you can tell it's summer, I've got, a, I've got an old t-shirt on. A old one is the operative word. Okay, T today is present day. First of all, this is my old spoke shave. I've had this one since I was really young, probably 17, maybe. I'm 66 now, so it's quite a few years old, this one. But I cleaned it all up the other day. I gave it, I watched a, a, a YouTube of how you clean them up and sharpen them. You see, I got it really nice and sharp. And I actually was doing a, um, a, a sort of curved top. It's like, so let's say you've got the timber like that, but the top was sort of curved like this, and it was on a sort of a, on a, a bevel of about 45. But you know, that's a real bugger of a thing to clean up. I've got big belt sanders, I've got uh, orbital sanders, I've got all sorts of sanders, but you know, doing a curve on those inside and outside things is quite difficult with the sanders. Now you can finish off with a bit of sand, you can finish off with a hand sanding. So I've got out my little trusty uh, spoke shave, but then, and I know I've had it, and I know that's really pretty stupid, but I decided to shout myself a really beautiful one. I think it's a really beautiful one, and we're about to find out, because my parcel has just arrived today, and I haven't opened it, so you're the first to see it open, and I hope it's that, and I hope it's not a big box of drugs. <laughs> Maybe the courier got it wrong. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, where's it from Bolivia? Oh no, oh no, wrong one. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, open it up. Give it a brand new blade in my Stanley knife to go do it. The inaugural opening. Slice it down here. Ah oh, yes. By the way, it's from Timber, it's from Timbercon, I think. <laughs> Okay, packaging, right. Yeah, Tim Con, always thank you. Always thank you for spending money with them. Uh, okay, what do we got for some goodies? I have got a Veritas spoke shave. Look at this, you beaut. Ugly. Nice. New. Better work. Okay. Now, what else have we got here? Ah, this is a, a scrape holder from Veritas. And I don't know about you guys, but if you have a look at it here, if, when you're using a scraper, you're pushing the scraper for ages, your thumbs get really hot. So I thought I'd get myself one of those. We'll have a look at it in a minute. Um, I don't know whether this is going to be any good, but this is a CMT Orange Tools bit and blade cleaner. So this is good for cleaning your blades or the gunk off. So they tell me. I've yet to find out. And this is a this is the last thing. This is a D Diamond Cross double sided 300 1000 um, diamond stone for sharpening all my hand tools. Because what I found Hand tools work really good when they're sharp. In fact, they work really good when their roads are sharp. Uh, and I've got all the, the, the jigs and all that for sharpening, but I've often been too slack to do it properly. And this time, as I'm getting older, I'm getting less slack. So this is a 300 to 1000. I've already got the same size one in a 600. So I've kind of got it covered 300, 600, 1000. So I'm pretty happy with that. So let's have a look. Let's go for the best, let's go for the best one first. Let's have a look at this thing. So sort it of looks pretty nice. Because, you know, the trouble with this one is you've got to sort of tap this and then tap that to get the blade just right. You can't, you know, it's, it's a bit too craftsman for me. So this one, as we get it out, it's already wrapped up in the brochure. And brown paper. Ooh. Ooh. 
look at that baby. Now that's a nice looking unit. Right. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look at this one. So it's got adjustable blade here. Look at this. You can adjust the blade up and down, which is pretty good. Okay, we're gonna have a try of that in a minute. Okay, so that's really good because you can see it's got an adjustment here and here. Beautiful handle and if your thumbs fit really nice inside the way that it goes, so you can roll your, your wrists. Now this is the scraper holder. Scraper. That's a bonus. I, didn't, I thought it was just the holder. That's really nice. So this is it here. And obviously you can adjust it. Oh, I see. You can. Yeah, right. You can you can adjust it to get the bow in it when you you know how when you scrape you got to kind of bend it to get a nice bit of a bow going. That's 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 really good because now you can set the bow. Um, or just keep it straight. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. And then these two clamps on here, obviously clamp it in nice and secure. Good thing too is it's already, they've already put, an, they've put a really nice edge on it already to start off with. So that's absolutely fantastic. Look at that, that's great. And really nicely made. Okay, now. This is a diamond stone for the sharpening. Now, I believe after I've read a yeah, the, 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 the better stones that they talk about are the, the monocrystalline um, diamond stones because of the way that the diamonds are impregnated into the steel. Because the, the um, a lot, of, a lot of them are actually, they're just glued on, apparently, where this is... Okay, this has got... This one comes in a little pouch, which is pretty good. And you've got some little, got some little rubber holders at the other end. So we'll have a look at that. Mm, yeah, it feels, you can really feel, well, you can really feel the, the, the diamonds in this one, so... Apparently, now yeah, this is interesting. How does, oh yeah, you just sit it. Well, it just sits on there. So I would say it just sits in here. I'll point that down. See that it just sits like so, and then you're able to turn it over. Now, yeah, what does the instruction say? If in doubt, always look at the instructions. Okay, attach one diamond on the underside of each of the stone using the magnetic lock to screw it in position. Okay, it's got a magnet. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, yeah, right. Oh, right. I didn't realise that. Okay, so there's some two little magnets put in here, and you just sit it under the end there, and you just, uh, let me see here. You just set that underneath the end there. So, yeah, that's pretty groovy. Okay, let's see how that feels. Oh yeah, it's nice and, that feels nice and firm on the bench. That's not going anywhere. So it comes with a great little pack. Of course, showing you all this stuff, black on black doesn't help. <laughs> so it comes with a, a variety, a little variety of sheet of all the, the different things you can sharpen and how you can sharpen them. And, talks about oh yeah some of the angles some of the best angles you've got um, yeah very very good I've already got this um, I've already got the these are really good of these these little ones here and they're great for doing your um, router bits to refreshen them up um, so this is really good so I'm going to sharpen up a lot of my tools 
now that I've got this. Now I've got the Tormex system. I've got the Tormex, um, you know, wet system. Uh, and that's great for doing sort of the basic grind and the chisels and all that. But I think these sort of things are really kind of nice to finish it off. Because um, you can sort of control how much you can slide on. So I'm going to try this out later. But um, that's a very nice, that's a very nice spoke shave. I'm very impressed by that. Now, this has served me well, admittedly. But look, you know, this one, <laughs> this one's like a steam train. <laughs> compared to an auto, a new locomotive. Now, I suppose the truth would be, oh, well, yeah, well, that's another interesting thing is this one's got a really quite a thin blade. It's an old Stanley, of course, but the Veritas, where are we? Oh, yeah, look. So if you look at the difference between them, see how the, yeah, the Veritas got a really nice thick blade on it. That'll be really good. So feels quite sharp out of the box, which is very interesting. I must try some experimenting with it. Oh yeah, it's, I, re I really like the adjusting wheels. I'll pull this down a bit. The, the adjusting wheels is really good. I don't know if you can see if I can see if I can get that up on there. So you don't have to put much of a effort into it. You can just loosen this off a fraction. Lift, yeah, whoops, there we go. It's very hard to see, I suppose. Oh, here we go. You can see how, whoops, you can adjust it. And some people like to work with it, you know, um, where it's sort of down on one side and light on the other side, but you can do some light shavings on one side and then a bit of a deeper curl on there. So, for a lot of young, you know, for a lot of the young people uh, that see my thing, which is not too many really young ones, I probably don't know what this is. <laughs> um, anyway, this is this is great. Isn't it a beautiful design? Look, I love it. Look at this handle. It's superb. I really like it. I, I don't know what the handle's made out of. Maybe... Yeah, looks like a redwood sort of wall, um, walnut. Anyway, very nice looking. <laughs> I'll, I'll look after this one. Um, so that's, that's really good. I'm really happy with that. And say, well, I don't know, we dropped it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's really good. Oh. Well, that was today's little um, little package from um, uh, Timbercon. A few things that I really needed. I think that's a, good, that's a good investment to get a really nice diamond stone. I mean, they're not cheap, but, you know, quality isn't cheap. And like I say, this one actually has... And this is something to note, that... The process of a monocrystalline diamond plate. So the monocrystalline is it's the way that they attach the crystal, the the diamond crystals, which are man-made. Apparently, <laughs> they haven't robbed the, the the Tower of London to do it. Uh, they're man-made. They're man-made diamonds, um, and that's the way that they've impregnated them into the steel. So as you wear, as you wear it, gradually wears away the steel, <laughs> so the diamonds stick out more. Um, now. The, the other method is a lot of the cheap Chinese ones are actually, the diamonds are glued on. So this is a much better method. I saw I saw a good review on that and and that in turn showed a great way how you sharpen these and how you get this nice flat. Um, uh, again, running pack on the scraper. Scraper's fantastic. Look at that, that's, that's, that's just beautiful. And this Veritas stuff is really nice looking. Um, so, and it's really well designed. I mean, you know, again, for the sort of the younger people, look at that, look at that bow you can get into there. That's, that's superb when you're scraping. Um, this, this scraper will take off more, generally, than if you sand and you're having your high spots. So instead of working on your Rotex or something like that, try and get some of the high spots down, this, scraping is a great way of doing it you get a beautiful you get a really lovely finish for a start off um, and um, it's a great way of getting it all sort of running and it's great for even um, planing out um, the um, marks of uh, sanding and that as well all right guys well um thanks very much for watching i did buy another little package the other day but i'll show you another day on that one that's this one's a little bit different it's my excalibur uh, uh what do they call it the uh, scroll saw 
I went to the woodwork show in Melbourne, the timber woodwork show, talked to an old scrolling lady. <laughs> and she, she helped me with a lot of stuff because I'd had a problems with my Excalibur um, scroll saw. Getting a lot of vibration, took it back to Carbotech, they played around with it, gave it to me back, apparently drilled a few holes, something to do with the, that model, you know. Uh, anyway, and you know, and I was trying to cut out lots of little stuff, and um, if I try to cut stuff out of real thick, and I, I, I use these blades called Olsen blades, which again were from Carbotech. Now, I thought they were kind of, you know, fairly decent blades, they're from the USA. Usually, most things from the USA are, are pretty good quality. But the lady told me, you don't buy them. They're, she said, they're rubbish. You, you buy these uh, Pegasus, or uh, I think they're called. And um, I got them from a lady up in Murray Bridge in, a, in South Australia. She supplies all the clubs and that with these scroll saws. And let me tell you, the difference is unsurpassed. I also bought a new, new little locking heads on it, which are made out of really um, aluminium, um, really beautiful aluminium. They're really nice heads. They're lighter, which means you get less vibration when the um, uh, saw goes up and down, which I'll show you that. But more to the point is, I, I was playing around with cutting out some, just some freehand fun. Now, this is three quarter inch. This is three quarter inch. And I just did this stuff, you know, real fun with freehand, you know, just sort of pushed it through like this. Look, at this. this was just a freehand thing, you know, just mucking around. But it was great. I, c I could work without the little foot uh, from jumping up. Um, the blades were cutting down, um, but also I got the blades which cut down and up, and I still wasn't getting any jumping. So it really, really tuned up my saw, fabulous. And this was easy to do. This was normally, if I'd have done this, that the store would have been jumping around like a mad banshee. You know, I was mucking around with sort of putting things within things and stuff, experimenting just by eye, you know, um, not drawing any pencil marks or anything, just, you know, sort of swinging it around and seeing how much you can turn the, the blade on itself over three quarter inches. Now, three quarter inches is generally pretty um, uh, difficult to cut. I also cut some um, black wood and a little bit of jarrah with it and it was just as good just as easy so yes those blades were absolutely brilliant and they are made in sweden and you know those fritzel blades they're damn cheap i mean they were five bucks for i don't know i think there was 12. five bucks you know come on <laughs> why wouldn't why wouldn't you have the best ones you've got and also which was really good was i got a foot switch which is from proxon and the foot switch um uh, goes with the um, uh, Excalibur saw now, and instead you just say switch it on top, put the foot switch in, so now it's all controlled by a foot check and stop it instantly. Like as soon as you take your foot off, bang, it stops. So if you was to get in a predicament where you've shoved your finger near it, bang, take your foot off, instantly stop. So you're not sort of trying to pick your hand up and trying to find the switch or something as you're slicing off the top of your thumb. So I think safety-wise, it's even really good, but it's really good too where you kind of like need a position or something like that, you can stop it and, and, and do it. Anyway, but I, I'm going on about the uh, <laughs> the Excalibur saw, but I, I should drag it out and show you guys what I sort of did. If you're interested, I'm not sure, let me know. But um, yeah, this was today's little thing. Not first tool, but you know, sometimes we talk about other things other than first tool. All right, guys, you have a good day, and uh, I'll see you again. Oh, by the way, I'm making some tables at the moment for a little show that I'm doing, just out of some experimental, <laughs> so I'm just winging it, winging it as I go with some really rough sketches and uh, just uh, enjoying playing around with the tools today. All right, see you guys. Cheers. Oh, g'day. In opposite. <laughs>